Hey guys, I am so excited to be live right now. Um, I'm going to today really show you guys the Ponyo, how to use it. So if you are on here and you're not here to learn, move along because that's what that's exactly what we're doing. So um, I wanna show you guys the Ponyo, how it works. So basically it bends. It does not stretch. It's so unique like that. And there is a reason. So there's like actually a couple of reasons. So the ponio is non-damaging. So it's not pulling on your hair and breaking it off at, you know, you know when you get these tiny hairs? That's from a ponytail holder if you wear high ponytails. So that's something that's very unique and very cool about the ponio. Can I point out my awesome Britney Spears shirt? Because I'm kind of obsessed with it and she needs to be freed. <laughs> okay, moving along. Okay, I had to. So um, let's start with the ponio and show exactly what it does. So it is going to make your hair look thicker, fuller. It's non-damaging, like I just said, and it's so, so comfortable that you don't feel like there's anything in your hair. It's incredible. So as you can see, look how thick and high my ponytail looks. I could not in a million years get my hair to look this fluffy and a standard hair tie. There's no way. And I actually wanna show you guys that I'm not wearing extensions. Um, this is my natural hair and I have very thin, fine hair. It's sad. Uh, it's grown since wearing the ponio, so it's gotten thicker because it's not damaging and breaking off. So before ponio, it was like, I mean, tiny. And now it is amazing. It's so thick. Well, not so thick, I guess it's, thicker than what I've ever had. So it's so good. So once you start, and I'm gonna read y'all's comments. Um, again, if they are inappropriate or not a uh, question to learn, I'm going to ignore you. So don't even bother. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show you guys before and after. So remember this, remember how this looks, remember how full, like look at that width, width there and that height, okay? And I'm gonna show you the difference, it's crazy. So to take it out, you just open up the ponio and you wanna open it into a complete circle. So you want to make sure it's in an O shape. And then this is the most beautiful part. Look guys, it just oh, falls out. And if I'm shaky, it's because I had too much coffee. Um, so yes, it is amazing in that way. It's not going to damage your hair. And let me actually show you the ponytail. Um, my hair's a little crazy today. I'm on day three, so it's not as, it, I feel like day three is the best for like showing volume. Um, so that's what I kind of want to show you guys. My day three hair. Okay, so hair tie, okay? This is what I used, used to use all the time. Same exact thing because my hair was so fine. The other ones just like, I don't know, they, they didn't look as good. So I always used these, but these don't look good either. <laughs> You're gonna see the difference. Okay, so now look at that and that. And again, no extensions, guys. This is the most incredible part is that you don't have to wear extensions. Oh, Marilyn, thank you. Yeah, I love this shirt. <laughs> I had to wear it today. I'm like obsessed with Britney. Um, I'm a 90s kid, so uh, love mine. You even sleep in yours. Yes, and that's the beauty of it. When you Okay, so with hair ties, if you sleep in a hair tie, it's going to damage your hair. If you sleep in the ponio, put it on top of your head, it just like gently holds your hair instead of like tugging on it. Because I move a lot when I sleep, but with the ponio, it like, lays there and it's beautiful and comfortable and all of that. If y'all hear snoring, it is my dog. I have three dogs here right now and they are like all sleeping at my feet. So uh, it's not me. <laughs> okay, so real quick, I'm gonna put the pony on for you. Give you a really nice demonstration of how to put it on properly. It is so important to put your pony on proper, properly. No headaches either. Yes, no more headaches. I used to get really bad tension headaches um, because I wore my hair up a lot. And these just like, again, they sit there and they're not tugging, they're not pulling. Again, it feels like there's nothing in your hair. So you're going to be addicted. Like I'm addicted, I'm obsessed with these. Like I obviously am obsessed with them. I wear them every single day and I know you will too. Once you learn how to put it on properly and know all the benefits. Actually, I'm gonna use a different one. Should I do zebra? I'm gonna do zebra, let's do it. So you wanna open it up into a circle. I feel like I never wear zebra. I love this one, this one's so cute. I should wear it more often. Okay, so we're gonna do two fingers, guys, your pointer and your thumb, and I always say this, but I call it the baby shark because I'm a mom, um, or uh, you know, what crab claw, you can call it. Um, but you don't want to 
put a bunch of fingers in because it's like awkward to like grab it and like I have really small hands so I can do it but if you have like bigger hands or um you know just don't do that <laughs> okay so two fingers pointer thumb you feed your hair through keeping the ponio super close to your head uh still waiting on your order for switzerland cool oh my gosh send us pictures um and you're going to tilt up the back a little bit so this is going to kind of help feed your hair through without you don't want to like let go of anything because so you want it to be tight to your head but what you can do is lift up the back while it's still tight on the front if that makes sense and then feed that through boom okay and then this is going to feel very strange okay but you're going to drop your hair so drop it and hold the ponio with two hands and this is where you clamp it shut there you go I like to get spread it out. You don't have to, but I like to kind of spread it out. I feel like it tightens up right here when I do that. So we are completely flattened, just like that, okay? And then I'm trying to read while I'm doing this. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, awesome. And then what you're gonna do is take your thumb and your other thumb and wrap it around the thumb. So you want that shooting straight back, okay? And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. You're gonna see it from the front. You push, my thumb's on the back, and then you push it back. So you want it to shoot straight back like a complete like shh, like you want to be like this in your hair okay so uh yeah now it's on tight it's not going anywhere look i can tug as hard as i can without like hurting myself and it's going nowhere boom so so easy so fast so fun and it's so cute okay something i don't want you guys to do um is when you tighten your ponytail this is a habit we all have I had it forever, I had to break the habit. Break this habit, A, it breaks your hair. B, it's going to loosen the copper because the copper is meant to be squished on the hair. You want it to be flattened on the hair. When you grab your hair and do bunny ears, that pulls away from the copper and it's not going to be tight. So don't tighten it like that. That is not going to tighten it, that will loosen it. So instead of that, I could even tighten it right now without doing that by grabbing the ends and squishing and we're back to tight. So that's how you tighten it. So important, it's a little hack that, and it's something small, but it's like, it's big when you're using a ponio. So make sure to do, um, do that. Do not do this, do that. Okay, uh, the buns, or the pins. Okay, I have some pins I wanted to show you guys. Uh, they're, they're so good. They're like one of my favorite things because it's something, it's like an app, it's an accessory for your accessory, which is really cool. Uh, so you can have you know, your ponio in, and I'll even just do a bun real quick right now for you. And I'm going to take my hair, okay? And I'm going to give it a little twist. It doesn't have to be a super tight twist, because I want mine to look fluffy and big. So I'm going to twist it like slightly, just to gather the hair together. And then what I do is put my two fingers here, and then wrap, get that piece, wrap it around. Okay, until you hit the end. You see this end right here? And then I'm gonna take my Britney Spears pink. Uh, I think she'd appreciate that. And I'm going to go downwards in my bun. So you push down and catch that hair. Oh, I'm doing it backwards. Push down, catch the hair, and then you push it underneath the ponio. And it's locked in. And it's so cute. And we have so many different colors. Um, I like to layer them, so one isn't enough for me. Like. More is more, let's get this done. Let's go with our orange. Okay, so what you're gonna do is same thing. I like it to be seen, so I put it up in the front and I go right next to that pink and push in. Oh, so freaking cute. I'm obsessed with these guys. It's like, Ponyo comes out with different things all of the time. And that's what's really cool. We keep up with the trends. We make sure that we uh, cover every area and we are coming out with all kinds of different things. Our inventor is, incredible at coming up with new unique things that are non-damaging that's the main thing for us we want you guys to have healthy product or healthy hair with our products so number one the health of your hair so that's something that we take major pride in um, as a company okay let's go with the green because this is my uh, birthstone i love this one okay i'm a leo it's coming up okay so we push down and in. Guys, look at this cuteness. 
I'm really, really obsessed with this. This bun is actually pretty dang good too. My buns always come out different. So it's like, it's like snowflakes. They all, they're like every bun is different, which I love. Um, let's see, I'm reading all y'all stuff. Um, da, da, da. Awesome, oh, I am really far. Okay, there we go, I'm sorry guys. You guys are beautiful, oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. I love you too. I love you guys. Uh, yeah, you need the bun pin in every color. Like all of the colors are fabulous. Look at this beautiful blue one. I'm obsessed with it. I mean, you can't go wrong. I mean, and you know what? Let's like, you could put these literally all the way around your bun. Ooh, let me get closer. All the way around your bun and have this like spiky, colorful bun, which is like so unique. I don't think I've ever seen anyone on the streets have this. So you will look freaking awesome. Um, so yeah, you guys get you some butt or some pins because they are to die for. And you can do them with so many different styles. If you go on our website, you'll see all the styles you can do with the pins. There's so much you can do with them. It's unique. It's not just buns. Like you could put them in like little updos and stuff like that. So there's so much you can do. Okay. I could stay on this style forever. I kind of want to keep it for the rest of the day, but I will take it out for y'all. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Let's see, see, see. I know, I'm trying to get to all y'all's, y'all. I'm trying to read and talk at the same time. I'm not very good at multitasking. Um, you bought a pony and you really love it. Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. Who wants to see a, a, a bun bar? I love the bun bar. Okay, let's, let's do a bun bar. Uh, amazing for the festivals. I know, I wish festivals were going on right now. Like that would be amazing. And you'd have like these jewels all over. Okay, and then maybe like space buns with it would be really cute for festival. We'll just pretend, have a festival in your house. Um, okay, uh, beautiful eyes. Thank you guys, you guys are being so nice today. Okay, so again, to take it out, oh, that's it. So easy and so fun, so cute. I uh, can't wait for them to come. Oh, I love it, the light blue. I know the light blue is to die for. To die for all of them are i can't even like i can't choose my favorite i guess it just depends on the day um okay so let's see let's do what are we doing let's do a a bun bar super easy super fast i am going to go ahead and put in whoop, my 2.0 so this is a thinner version whoop, sorry of the ponyo so it's not as uh, bulky like with width wise so it's gonna be uh, stand a little lower and it's great for sections of hair. Really good for children's hair. I use it on my daughter all the time because um, it doesn't overwhelm their heads. So the, the 2.0 is great for a lot of reasons. Okay, so we're gonna do two fingers. Hi! <laughs> two fingers, pointer and thumb. And it's the same process, guys. We're doing the same exact thing as if you're putting on the ponio. I'm gonna do this one a little quicker since we are focusing here on the bun bar. So you bend and you bend. And I'm going to make the back touch. Can you do a low ponytail with a ponyo? Absolutely. Absolutely you can. You could do a low ponytail, mid ponytail. I always do high, especially A, because I like it, and B, because it's easier to demonstrate and you guys can really see what's going on um, while I'm talking to you. I will do a low though for you. Uh, don't let me forget. You know what, while we're here, <laughs> I'm so ADD. While we're here, let's do of these puppies okay this is a bling ring it's amazing it uh all you have to do with this it just dresses up your ponyo it's stretchy Ooh, sorry stretchy and magnetic that's it all you do is place it across your ponyo let the magnets touch and you have an aria grande britney spears pony for days you can go in wedding because i know ponytails are like the new updos so you can go to a wedding in this you can i mean there's so many ways like I, I, there's so many places you could go to dress up and use this bling ring i am so addicted to the bling um yeah it just makes it so fun um okay i'm reading all your stuff awesome you guys have been so so amazing today it's 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 so fun to see y'all um chatting with me. I love the bling rings. Girl, me too. They're so good. Okay, I'm gonna get back to the bun bar. I'm sorry. Here we go. Uh, here it is. Okay, bun bar. So, okay, why is the name Ponyo? That's a great question. So it's your ponytail and it is in the shape of an O. So, yeah. 
Super cool. Okay, so what we, what we do with this guy, it is open on one side, closed on the other, and you're going to take your hair that's in a ponytail, and you're going to put your hair between the, or the bun bar, okay? And you're going to do slide, I'm gonna kind of scratch down, you slide up, and you're gonna roll down towards your face. You don't roll backwards, you roll forwards, okay? You spin, spin, spin till you hit your head, and then what you're gonna do, let me just turn for you, is fold in the bars to make them touch, and you're gonna take your fingers and slide your hair over the bar, okay? And then slide again. And the cool, and then what you're gonna do after that is squeeze. And now you have a bun. And so when you slide your hair over the, uh, the bun bar, that's gonna hold the, the, the bun bar together, okay? And then now I'm gonna just kind of play, first I'm gonna squeeze again. The more you squeeze, the tighter you squeeze, the more secure the bun's gonna be. And now I'm gonna just play with it to make it exactly what I want, because you can manipulate it into whatever bun you love. So I'm gonna take my fingers and kind of give it a couple tugs. See, and now it's coming into exactly what I was looking for. <sighs> Guys, I have like no hair, and look how thick Again, I think I'm gonna keep this bun for the day, unless you'll have more styles for me. But this is miraculous. Look at this thing. So yeah, it's just so easy and it's so cute. And I could, again, never get a bun like this without the, the bun bar. It's incredible. Oh, I'm gonna do, okay, I'll do the low, low pony. I'll take it out just for you. Uh, let's see. Okay, so to take it out, you just expose the bar, kind of push your hair back to the front. Okay, and then you're going to open it back up. So open it back into straight, and then ho, 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 comes right out. Boom, so easy. All right, I'm a little messy today, guys. I'm sorry. I need to brush my hair right now. Okay, so again, to take out. No damage. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and brush it real quick. Can y'all bear with me here? Do you guys have any questions? Uh, Love these things. Oh my gosh, me too. Seriously guys, they're so addicting. You're going to be obsessed. I can't say it enough. If you put it on correctly and if you follow the instructions, and again, we have so many instructions, um, instruction pages for each hair type. So if you have curly hair, we have the instructions for you. If you have thick hair, we have the instructions for you. Short hair, got it for you. So it, it's good for all hair types. Um, we, okay, let's do a low. Uh, we're gonna do a low pony. And I'm gonna actually stand for you for this one. Let me adjust this guy because um, it's easier to show you this way. Okay, all right. So for a low pony, it's gonna be the same exact process, just lower on your head. And that goes for a mid pony, it goes for a high pony. It's all the same. It just depends on where you put it on your head. So a low pony is so pretty. Oh, let me get my brush. Okay, I wanna make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take my little baby shark right there, mur, 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 and then we are going to grab your hair with the pony out. I mean, with, with, with your fingers, I'm sorry. Okay, and then feed your hair through the O, drop your hair, Grab the pony with two hands, squeeze the pony flat, and then you just bend down, you bend down, and then give it an extra squeeze. And you have the perfect low pony. And again, it gives you that volume. Look at this. Look, it gives you the same, I'm trying to pull it out, just so I like some volume on top. Um, there we go. Okay, it gives you that same voluminous look with no teasing, no bobby pins. It's just your hair. No extensions, guys, that's insane. So it definitely looks a lot thicker, fuller, and it's cute as heck. All right, guys, this has been a really good live. I've really enjoyed it. You guys have been very sweet. Um, and if you guys need anything, you let us know, message us. We are always here for you. Always. 
um, email us, message us. There's so many ways to get a hold of us. We would love to help in any way possible. So just reach out. Um, if you need to talk to me directly, ask for me and I'll get on and talk to you. All right, guys, thank you so much. And we will see you next week. Bye.